today on Karamo. It's your birthday. Your sister's not there. Your boyfriend's not there. Liv is afraid that her sister has been secretly hooking up with her boyfriend. I'm gonna ask you directly, do you have feelings for Tyler? I mean, he's good looking. Everyone's about to get real. Has she ever done anything to broke your trust? Yeah, she took my first boyfriend. Could this whole situation be all about revenge? I trust you, why won't you trust me? I think it's time that we unlock these phones. What about y'all? The truth is about to be unlocked. So you have two forms of communication. What has Liv's sister been doing with her boyfriend? You do know that it's gonna mess with her. You know it. Welcome to the show. My guest Liv says her sister is spending way too much time with her man Tyler, and it's without her being there. They text all the time, and she's starting to feel like a third wheel in her own relationship. You know, we'll find out if Tyler is more than just a friend when we unlock some phones today. But before we do, let's find out what's been going on from Liv. Please, everyone, welcome Liv to the show. Hi. Oh, you look very pretty. Thank you. Come on, how are you doing, Nella Hart? So, please, Liv, tell me, why do you feel like your sister is fooling around with your man Tyler? Um, so first, they have each other's numbers, okay. and they text all the time, so I feel like I'm third wheeling because they always hang out without me, so it kind of makes me nervous. So can you tell me about a time that you felt like a third wheel? We went to dinner with each other, and we sat down, and they sat across from me. Another time was when my sister had a guitar. She played like all the time at night. He always came over and played guitar with her instead of me, so I just felt a little left out. Like she also shows me like DMs and like memes of this stuff they send back. So it's like I don't know why they're like doing that, but yeah. And does your sister know this bothers you? Yeah, she knows too. Okay. Yeah. What about that makes you feel uncomfortable? They hang out with each other and they don't know that it's making me mad. Yeah. And they don't understand that, so I just feel like uncomfortable. They don't even see really what I'm going through. Um, was there a time that stood out more than the other times? Um, yeah, my birthday actually. Uh, I went to a birthday dinner my friend had for me. Mm -hmm. My sister was supposed to come and no response. And then uh, later we went to a bar and she met up with us and Tyler was there. So that was kind of annoying. And then I didn't say anything because I didn't want to bring it up in front of all my friends. Mm -hmm. So I didn't say anything. And then at the end of the night, I, I asked her and I was like, what happened? Like, when did you meet up with him? And she was like, oh, well, I actually invited him over to our house and we hung out when you guys were at your dinner. And I just- So let me get this fair. straight because I still want to hear your sister's side of the story. I don't want to make any judgments, but I need accuracy. It's your birthday. Your sister's not there. Your boyfriend's not there. And then later on, you find out they were together at your house, and then yeah. they come to the bar where you were at? Yeah. I want to go back to you and your sister. Were you two close growing up? Yeah, we were pretty close. We also fought a lot. And like, there was one point where we fought so much about like clothes. And, and what else did you fight about? Food and all. Like, we live in a house together, so it gets close. We always buy groceries with each other. We do everything together. But like, the one thing I don't want to share is like my boyfriend, you know? <laughs> Listen. I think that's a boundary we can all agree on, right? Like, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you and how old is your sister? I'm 22, my sister is 19. You know, this is actually something new for me. Normally, you hear about the partner mar hanging out with family when you're married. Mm -hmm. But, you know, normally in some relationships, and, I, you know, everything's different, I really don't really hear about when you're just boyfriend-girlfriend the, 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 your partner hanging out with your family members that tight, especially not a sister, I, you know, unless they knew each other prior. Right. Did they know each other prior to you? Um, not, not like that. We went to the same high school, but they never were friends. Got it, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And how long have you been with Tyler? Since May, so like eight months maybe. So you've been with him for eight months. And already in eight months, you're having these issues of worried about yeah. what could be going on. Mm -hmm. Do you trust your sister? I don't know. Why do you say you don't know? Because... She always says, like, no, I don't like him, all this stuff. At the end of the day, like, why is all this stuff happening? Do you trust Tyler? I don't know. I want to, but I don't know. There's just too many red flags. Do you mind sharing what some of those red flags are? He kind of um, has a history of being like a player. He's never shown anything like that to me besides with my sister. So what do you think I'm going to find in their phones? I don't know. I hope nothing. Well, listen, everyone, we just heard from Liv. Let's hear what Emmeline has to say. Please, everyone, welcome Emmeline to the show. 
Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Yes. Sorry. Take a second. Yeah, take a seat for me. So did you ever pick up your sister Liv being upset about all of this? No, which is crazy. I'm confused in all of this. Okay. I'm gonna ask you directly, do you have feelings for Tyler? I mean, he's good looking. I mean, you've all seen him, but no, of course, I'm, I respect my sister. I'm gonna be like, honest I have with you. I like, not respect though, if it you like respect. blatantly just said that he's good looking. I mean, I've said that to you before. You're okay with that. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with that? She said that you're of okay with calling not. him. That's, but she's never said anything, and that's the problem. I have said stuff, and you just don't think Ooh. anything of it. You just You've ignore it. You've never said anything to me about it. Yeah, I do all the time. Emmeline, why do you think she's accusing you of um, doing this? I think she's just insecure and jealous a little bit. I think you're insecure, and you're jealous. I don't think so. That's not how it looks. Why do you feel like she's insecure and jealous? She's, I mean, we're just different people. I'm very outgoing. I like to have conversations a lot, very in depth. And you're just kind of, I don't know, like bubbly. You kind of say the first conversation and leave whenever you're talking to people, so. So because of that okay. reason, you think she's insecure and jealous? A little bit. I mean, I've seen it before with her. I've seen her, the way she talks to people. And then when I kind of swoop in and talk to people, she kind of gives me this look, so. What's yeah. the look? It's like a... Emily, I'm, I'm hearing you say that you think your sister is insecure, but it was, it took us all aback when you said that her man is attractive. I'm not gonna like, lie. It's literally my honest. boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. And you cannot say that kind of We're stuff. We're here to be honest and I'm being honest with you. I asked Liv earlier if she trusted you and she said she wasn't sure. Has she ever done anything to broke your trust? <laughs> yeah, she took my first boyfriend. <laughs> Could this whole situation be all about revenge? Texting, flirting, behind my back. Is that true, love? Yes, but this is a thing. <laughs> the truth is about to be unlocked. I'll trust you, why won't you trust me? I think it's time that we unlock these phones. What about y'all? I'm gonna ask you directly, do you have feelings for Tyler? I mean, he's good looking. So. We're here to be honest, and I'm being honest with you. Has she ever done anything to broke your trust? <laughs> yeah, she took my first boyfriend. <laughs> you guys weren't even dating, first off. We were dating. No, For you over weren't. A year. I mean, yeah, no, it was, you weren't. I was like, what, super young? But it was still my first boyfriend. So. That was not your boyfriend when you, <laughs> no, no, no. no what, what, do you, what do you mean she took your first boyfriend? Because that, 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 that's a loaded yeah. statement, so what yeah, did that mean? so what happened was I was dating this guy. We broke up, okay, sorry. He wasn't my boyfriend at the time. And so the next day, he was over with her. Uh-huh. Yeah, I saw them together, which was weird. And then I found out that they've been texting, flirting, and just behind my back, so. Mm. Is that true, love? Yes, but this is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing. We were best friends growing up, so I was actually the one that introduced him to her and was basically like saying, yeah, you guys should date and all this stuff. And they did and ended up not getting, you know, liking each other. And so when we were going, when they were going through all that, then I started talking to him and I was like, you know, maybe if, if you looked the other way, then you can So did realize. you talk to your sister in that moment? Yeah, she, she knew, but. She wouldn't bring it up. She would try to always dodge it if I said anything, mm -hmm. which is very disrespectful in the first place to even do that behind my back, which I would never stoop that low to what you did. I would never do that. But you. you hang out with my boyfriend all the time without we me. We live together. Okay, we were, so I'm at the mm -hmm. store if I'm somewhere, mm -hmm. and he's over, and that I come back. That has never happened. Really? It's yeah. happened like three times. Mm, I don't think so. And my birthday. Your birthday? Yeah. You ditched me. No, yeah. I never ditched you. I you ditched me you and Tyler, my your boyfriend. No. You ditched both of us. No. So we had to come meet you up and find you. We had to go find your location on so the phone. So are you saying that she didn't invite you to no, the birthday party? No, she didn't. I did invite Which you. Is, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I promise But you, you ignored it and just hung out with him because you knew I had plans. Yeah, I'm going to hang out with your boyfriend you on your birthday. That's what you did. That's and you wild. told me about it. No. But in actuality, that is what you did. You hung out with him, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> but in actuality, that's what you did. Last resort. I mean... When you were younger, did you two have a good relationship? No. Not even from kids? No. Do you have the same biological parents? Yes. Yes. Is it just you two? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, and a brother. We have a, another brother. And a brother. Is he younger or older? Younger, yeah. Younger. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you, are you open to spending less time with Tyler? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> That's not my problem for, to work out. That's okay, your problem. Okay. But this is the thing. If you don't trust your boyfriend, break up with him. If I'm asking you out of respect, 
to stay away from him. We live together. Because it's making me uncomfortable. Don't you think you should give me that respect? We live together. I will see him regardless. If one day, let's say you go off and marry him, that's gonna be my brother-in-law. Am I not gonna be close with him? Am I gonna have to act awkward in front of you two for the rest of my life? No, that's So one insane. day, am I gonna come back to my own house and you're gonna be over just hanging out with him? Probably not. No. Oh. Hmm. I don't saying. do that. I wanna go back, when you were kids, did yeah. you fight for, cause I really need clarity on that. Did you fight over friends ever? Sometimes, yeah. You did? Did yeah. you ever fight for your parents' attention? Um, sometimes. Yeah, Sometimes. they would always kind of coddle her in a way. Um, <laughs> or you felt like she You're the middle child, though, so I feel like yeah, they always, I don't they know. don't pay attention to me. I'm the middle child. That's fine. Is that how you felt? Yeah, sometimes. So you I, felt like they didn't pay attention to her and they spent more attention calling you? Mm -hmm. Okay. But okay. I like my independency. Like, that's my thing. I like to be alone all the time. Mm -hmm. So she's very the opposite. She's always had to look over us, take care of me and my brother, which, I mean, makes her very mature and responsible, but I was always alone. So yeah. there's a difference there. Good to know the information. Well, everyone, I think it's time to bring out Tyler to the show so that we can get his side. <laughs> hey, Tyler, welcome to the show, man. Nice to see you. Nice to be in here. Of course. <clears throat> um, so I gotta ask you point blank period. Has there ever been a time that you've crossed the line with Emmeline? I trust you, why won't you trust me? I think it's time that we unlock these phones. What about y'all? The truth is about to be unlocked. So you have two forms of communication. What has Liv's sister been doing with her boyfriend? You do know that it's gonna mess with her. You know it. When you were younger, did you two have a good relationship? No. Are you open to spending less time with Tyler? No. If I'm asking you I'm out of respect to stay away from him, I will see him regardless. So I gotta ask you point blank period. Has there ever been a time that you've crossed the line with Emily? Absolutely not. And that's what I've been trying to explain to her. So why do you think she doesn't believe you? Honestly, I'm not sure because I haven't given her any reason to think otherwise. Has she ever given you any reason? outside of just your sister? You told me earlier that he was a player, but has he ever given you any reason? Have you ever seen him looking at girls doing anything that can make you feel like maybe he could be doing something? I mean, yeah, he definitely does have a flirty side to him. Like for instance, if we're at like a dinner and the bartender comes over and she's like, hi, how, how's it going? What can I serve you? She's like, He's always like giving compliments, you know, like, like, oh, your hair looks nice and stuff like that. So but you're never, a flirt. Is that a yeah, crime? Yeah, that's a flirt. It's a flirt. <laughs> But, I don't know if it's a crime, but it could be perceived as disrespect. Yeah, so that's like that's, that's the only thing he's done, that, but nothing like physical, just okay. verbal. So I'm going to ask you, do you feel like you spend too much time hanging out with MLI? Well, I guess that would depend on what you define as too much. So your girlfriend defines it as y'all hanging out when she's not around. So do you feel as if you spend too much time with her? Well, I'd have to disagree because, I mean, I just don't know why she would think that way if I haven't given her any reason to think otherwise, you know what I mean? I appreciate you avoiding my question, but do you feel like you spend too much time with Emily? <laughs> Sorry about that. I definitely respect her opinion, but and I'll definitely listen feel, to her. Do you feel? Absolutely not. No, no. so you feel like the amount of time you all spend together is normal? Yes, I believe that she should trust me. Do you ever pick up on Lib being uncomfortable? No, I do not, and I think that might be a compliment to her composure. Do you hold a lot of things in? Yeah, for sure. Why? I'm not a confrontational person. I feel like I keep everything in and then just explode at the end. Do you hold your feelings in as well? No. No? <laughs> you say it. Yeah, I say it. I'll mm -hmm. tell you how I feel. Immediately. Yeah. Does that make you uncomfortable that she does that? I think mostly because like, I wish I was like that. Tyler, do you feel like you're getting in between these two sisters? No. No. Why don't you feel that way? Because I just have a great connection with both of them. It's very <laughs> different, but... A good connection with both of them. <laughs> Tyler, are you aware of what you're doing? <laughs> no. 
Because I think we all are aware that you're aware of what you're doing. They're having their own issues, and you're using that to your advantage because if they're paying attention to each other, they're not paying attention to you. I could be saying something, but I'm usually right on, you know. Yeah, you're definitely yes. on to something. What? Am I? Tell me. Yeah, Tell me I more. Think so. I think so. No, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's time that we unlock these phones. What about y'all? <laughs> so, um, it is first time to unlock your phone, Emmeline. So, when it comes to text messages, we saw 150 texts between you and Tyler about meeting up and music. From what we're seeing here, the, the meetups were never about in sexual nature or anything of that nature. It was always like meetup or music. So I will say that. I wanted to just make sure that was clear. Uh, now, when it came to Snapchat, um, you had a 30-day streak of sending each other snaps to each other. What are y'all talking about on Snapchat? <laughs> music? We don't usually text on the texting app, so we use an alternative as Snapchat. Mm -hmm. So you have two forms of communication? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right, great. All right, so here we go. When it came to DMs, um, we only found 15 memes that you all sent to each other on DMs. So again, the memes were innocent in nature. So I have to tell you this. I didn't find anything that says there was any sexual interactions. That so makes me feel better. How did, yes, at least you had that information. Yeah. I can say that. I would believe from those messages and from what I was told before that there is no sexual relationship between these two. I would believe that. There's definitely not. Okay, good. <laughs> now, we want to unlock your phone as well, right? I'm interested for this one. When it came to Tyler's phone, you're going to have to be interested a little bit longer because he refused for us to unlock his phone. Why did you refuse for us to unlock your phone? Well, I just don't feel as if it's necessary. Why don't you so trust me? I was me? asking you to open up your phone right now. You'd be like, no. Because I trust you, why won't you trust me? You can look through my phone whenever you want. I don't know what's going on in your phone because you didn't allow us to see it. I've been doing this for a while now, and the only time people refuse to show me their phone is when they're trying to hide something. It's been the only case, and I'm not trying to project that onto you, but normally for transparency, when people come on here, they just give their phone up. Although I have nothing to hide. Okay. <laughs> you smooth, but brother, yeah. you ain't that smooth, okay? <laughs> All right, Mr. Smooth Man, I'm gonna ask you to leave the stage real quick so I can talk to these two ladies. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. you do know that it's gonna mess with her. You know it. Where do these sisters go from here? It's awkward. Find out next. You are the cop. Get off my stage. They're having their own issues, and I feel like sometimes you're taking advantage of the fact knowing that they're having issues. So when it comes to text messages, we saw 150 texts between you and Tyler about meeting up and music. All right, Mr. Smooth Man, I'm gonna ask you to leave the stage real quick so I can talk to these two ladies. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. If I give my personal opinion, I don't see this going long term. No. But what is important to me is sisters. You definitely opened my eyes and made me realize that like, guys are not gonna get in the way of yeah. my sister and I, like, yeah. no matter what, so yeah. I'm done with it. But I think there needs to be some acknowledgement of something, because the thing is, is for you two, an already strained relationship, the respect and trust was broken at a moment when you felt she talked to your ex-boyfriend. Yeah. And I don't think that moment has ever been able to be healed and to be able to acknowledge so that y'all can move on. And so what's happening now is that there's this cycle of mistrust that's coming from, it's a direct correlation to something that happened to you all. So I think for you, Liv, I think this is an important moment for you to acknowledge that that moment where you started talking to someone that she liked was hurtful for your sister. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe that your intentions were to hurt your sister because I understand we're young, we're confused, our hormones are going, it's like, oh, you don't like her? Okay, like me, you know, like mm -hmm. these things. But her, she's also going through it on the other end. And she, from her own words, said it just got brushed under, we never talked about it. Yeah. So can you apologize to your sister for doing something that hurt her at such a young age? Yeah, I do apologize for that because I know like, if we didn't have these problems, they wouldn't have problems today. So I, I'm sorry for being the root of the problem, especially at such a young age. I mean, I get we were young, but 
still. It's the respect thing. I just need to I see agree. it more from you. And when I ask if you can give me respect with Tyler, I, I think that I do. we would be... I believe I truly do. I don't think that the respect has been there. Okay. I agree. It hasn't been there. And I know that you have, but there's a part of you, which is why I asked her to start with her apology first. Yeah. And I know it's going to take some time for you to receive that and to, for that to sink in. But what you have to understand is that you're unconsciously making decisions because you were hurt and you want to make sure she feels that to some degree as well. Yeah. Because you know for a fact, I just walked to your phone and I, I really do believe there's nothing sexual going on with, you know, over there. I don't, there's nothing. But you do know that it's going to mess with her. Mm -hmm. You know it. Yeah. You know it. You see, she's immune to it. I mean, yeah, so, it, like, it will mess with her, but thing like is... there's nothing else I can do when it's all silent in the room. And it's just like us three. It's awkward. But the reason it's awkward right now is because y'all never healed your relationship. Yeah. There's just been a pattern of y'all's relationship becoming more and more dysfunctional. Right. And so therefore you're in this room and you're trying to do something to make it feel like it's not awkward. But you're also un unconsciously, which you just admitted to, doing something that you know that's going to hurt her. Right. Yeah. So what you have to do is you first of all have to apologize and say, yes, I have been disrespecting you as well. Sorry, I've been disrespecting you as well and I need to focus on you more than just petty things in the past. I think one thing that you all can do for each other is being clearer and opening up, but I know that's gonna be hard, but mm -hmm. open up through boundaries. It's gonna allow you not to feel like you have to always share your emotions mm -hmm. or for you to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna say everything and I have to be the one to keep this going. Yeah. Just say a boundary of like, hey, this is something that I don't feel comfortable with. Right. Like a great boundary for you is to say, I'm not gonna text your man no more. Yeah. It's one thing if you're together and you're all interacting, but it's another thing to deliberately sending memes and texts to somebody that's going to make your sister feel insecure. Right. Would you ever want to feel insecure again like you felt when you were younger and she was talking to your man? No. Because I know that hurt you. Yeah. It hurt you deep. Because mm -hmm. that was probably like one of your first loves, oh, first yeah. real likes. It was. Yeah, yeah, that first one hurts deep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know you felt like she did that to me, so she deserves to feel that insecurity, but neither of you felt, deserve to feel that way. So can you set the boundary of not texting the man she's dating? Yes, Thank I will. You. I appreciate it. Good, good. Is it, what else do you all need? Is there anything else? Because I feel like we got to a good point. I know, that was like, that was awesome. <laughs> that was good I've for you? I've never heard her say anything like that. You've never heard her say anything like that? No. Good, but good. But well, the part of the thing is, is that that is because y'all had this moment that kind of broke y'all even more. Yeah. Because y'all just didn't have the sisters things with the parents and attention. Y'all had something that broke the trust and respect. Yep. And I'm, that's probably the reason why you never say anything, because she never acknowledged it. Mm -hmm. But you got your acknowledgement today. Yep. And you got a boundary today. Yep. So I think y'all going to be OK. Thank you so and, much. And uh, we'll see what's going on yeah. with that, OK? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. All right? All right, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give your sister a that. hug. Y'all going to be all right. It. Yeah. Oh, come here. <laughs> Good luck to y'all. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome so much. You're welcome. Of course. You feel like great. Yeah. It's two close friends on the verge of falling apart. But, Mind you, but, no, no, but, no, no, but. you listen this time. Can they work it out today? I don't show on up for you. Media. No, you Dana, don't show Dana, up for Dana, everything I you. have. Where was you just at for my birthday? Or will they decide to end their friendship for good? Do you see a future for this friendship? So my guests are two close friends who have drifted apart and they fear their friendship is over. Dana says she and Bonita were like sisters, but a year ago when she was enjoying newfound success, she says Bonita wasn't supportive and was jealous of her getting all of the attention for once. Dana says she wants my help to decide whether their friendship is worth saving. Everyone, please help me welcome Dana to the show. Come through, look. Hello. Oh, you look great. Thank you. You are very welcome. Thank, Thank you for being you. here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so, so tell me about me. your relationship with Bonita. 
Well, my relationship with Benita, it started about seven or eight years ago. Yes. And since we met, we met because her boyfriend was a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He introduced us. And since the moment we met, we connected. Yes. We had different personalities. I'm like really outgoing and bubbly and I guess people say extra. Uh -huh. And she's more reserved and mild-mannered. Okay. But it worked for us. We met and we became the best of friends. She supported everything that I was doing. I supported everything that she was doing. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, when I wrote my stage play, I produced my stage play, and I had a successful stage play weekend, a sold out show, two sold out shows. Congratulations, Thank you. yes. It just seemed like our relationship just took a turn for the worse, and I just didn't understand why. So what caused you to question the relationship? Because she changed. Got it. She just seemed to, she seemed to be like a totally different person. It went from sisters to I'll call you back. It seems like she's so spoiled and I'm just not into catering to women. So have you ever asked her why she wasn't being supportive? It doesn't matter what I say. Like, she's that friend that she'll hear you, but she doesn't hear you, if that makes sense. Yeah. I'm just tired. Like, I don't know if it can be fixed. Have you ever had an issue like this with her in the past? No mm -hmm. issues at all. So since the play, has there been any communication that you've had with her? We have communication, but it's different. We went from talking every day, every night, spending time together, the four of us, my husband, her boyfriend, to talking maybe two times every three weeks. Or, mm. I mean, it's a big change. It's, a, it's truly a big change. And maybe you can help. Because me telling her, she's not going to get it. But maybe coming from you, you can salvage what we have. If it's even worth salvaging, I don't know. Maybe well, do it's you, not. Do you feel like it's worth salvaging? I think it's worth salvaging. And she has to be understanding that this is not a one-sided thing. Like, she has to be willing to change. And, and change in what way? Stop thinking that everything revolves around what you think and what you feel. I have feelings, too. So you want her to acknowledge your feelings more? Yes. Got it. I understand. So when was the last time y'all actually saw each other last? At her boyfriend's 50th birthday party about two weeks ago, and she's probably pissed about that because I missed her birthday party a month before that. And I missed her housewarming party last weekend, so I'm sure... She's upset about that because... So why did you make the decision to miss her events? Because I had something to do, and I don't feel like I have to explain why I'm, why I'm not coming. Like, if I just tell you I can't make it, I can't make it. I don't feel like I owe anybody an explanation for the way I move. And I'm just, I'm just tired. I see the, the audience, they feel a little different about that. <laughs> they feel a little different. <laughs> you know, I, I want to hear both sides. So I'm your tired. husband and her fiance are close. The guys are guys. You girls just handle that. Like, they don't want to be bothered with it. But I can tell it has put distance in us as a whole, the mm -hmm. four of us, because we did everything together. And they barely see each other now because mm. of our relationship being distant. Got it, got it. And so today you want her to, from your words, understand that you feel as if she could be self-centered, but you want her to acknowledge your feelings more. Yes. And if she wants something from you, can you do what she needs from you? If it makes sense to me. Oh. <laughs> well, all right. So listen, I want to hear Bonita's side of the story. So everyone, help me please welcome Dr. Bonita to the show. <laughs> Both of y'all better walk out. Y'all know that? <laughs> Both of y'all better walk out. Thank you, you too. Come through. Hey. Okay. So, okay, so... You were watching backstage. You heard what she had to say. Yes, what do you feel? so I'm jealous. So let's be clear. Let's be clear. Bonita Parker, Dr. Bonita Parker, and jealousy don't even belong in the same sentence anytime, anywhere, anyhow, ever. Okay? Mm. So let's start there. But, Mind you, but, no, no, but, no, no, no. But, you listen this time. Can these two close friends work out their issues today? I don't show on up for you. Dana, no, you Dana, don't show Dana, up for everything I have. You. Where was you just at for my birthday? Or will they decide to end their friendship for good? Do you see a future for this friendship? Stay tuned. You are the cop. Get off my stage. We met and we became the best of friends. So what caused you to question the relationship? It went from sisters to I'll call you back. Let's be clear, Dr. Bonita Parker and jealousy don't even belong in the same sentence. So let's start there. Second of all, I tried to support you in your stage play. You were the one who took it upon yourself to invite 
all of your friends, all of your other friends, but, mind you, but, no, but, no, 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 but, you listen this time. Mm -hmm. You took it upon yourself to invite all of your friends and did not to be a part of your stage play, except for me. So, I was the one but, that had, but, no, 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 but it was no, a no, reason no. for that. I was the one that had to buy a ticket and sit in the audience so why did like you exclude a stranger. Her? No, so but, I'm gonna ask you, so I'm, this and I'm is gonna tell thing. You why, why did you exclude her? I'm gonna tell you why. It wasn't excluding her. It was excluding me. It was not me. excluding her. Everybody, Everybody can't who be a she part considers of every... a close friend they have... was either in the play or behind the scenes making the play okay, happen. Okay, okay, okay. And Except everything for me. is not for everybody. So that's just that's just the truth. Did that hurt Every your feelings when she absolutely, didn't hurt you? Absolutely. Okay, it hurt so my feelings. let me tell you why. Everything is not for everybody. Just period. Okay, when it comes I get to that. life. I hear you. All of the people that are part of it were there from the beginning. She came in my life like seven years ago. Guess what? In that Six years of us being friends, what mm -hmm. did you do? You reached out to me and was like, hey, do you think you can help me um, get um, sponsorship for my stage play? Yeah, sure, Dana, send me the script so I could be up on it. You had the meetings with all of those people. Okay, yeah. I was, so I was included already. But that's something totally different. No, it was the same Benita, exact thing, no, Dana. No, it's not. Ba working backstage, Girl. you did not know anything okay. about the theater uh, stuff. Did anybody else? I could, I could name, but I'm not going to name a couple of people who didn't know anything either, but you gave them a spot. What do you mean, couple people who Benita, didn't know. I want to ask you a different thing. Okay. I wanna, do you feel like she's excluded you or not? She you definitely said you didn't excluded me. That's not even the think, first but time. But do you think she's excluded from other things? That's not even the first time this okay. happened, Karamo. Okay. She was getting married. During her, her, planning her wedding and her bridal shower, guess what? All of those same friends that was on the stage play were the ones planning her bridal shower. Well, but I'm the one do that with she me. calls sister Who planned BFF? my bridal shower has I'm nothing to do does. with me. You they picked planned those it. people. I didn't pick them. Oh, my God. I did not yes, pick those people. No, I and did not. And guess what? When no, we had a conversation about it, they when we had a conversation about it, guess what you said? Oh, I thought you were going to be busy. Oh, I didn't want to bother you because I thought... That is very true. That is so true. When it came to your engagement or the wedding party, did you say, well, I thought you'd be busy? Did you say that? I don't even remember saying that, but I did not pick the people to give me my bridal okay, shower. So I, I didn't so, pick but those I, people. So I can understand that you didn't pick the people, but once you knew that the people that decided to do it didn't invite your best friend, why she did you She was invited. In? I was invited to in the bridal I'm shower the to sit in the audience. Because I had nothing to do with that. Like, that, I have other things going on in my head. I wasn't worried about the bridal shower. Let me say that. Okay, okay. I understand. It seems like for me that you're, you're not getting what you need from either of you from this relationship. So how has because your relationship she's been? she's spoiled. Well, how she's spoiled. What? I'm spoiled and, she's used to and you call me self-centered. I want to ask each of you the same question. And, and don't respond until the other one mm -hmm. says their piece. Do you feel like she celebrates her successes? On social media. I don't show on up for social you. media. I don't show up for hold everything on, hold you on. have. Let me ask you now, Dana. Dana, Dana, no, you Dana, don't show Dana, up for Dana, everything I have. Where was you just at for my birthday? Celebrate my birthday was the day that Do I was what? born. Do you feel like she celebrates your successes? When she feels like it. Because I can say the same thing about her on social Lies. media. Lies. So what happened, Bonita, on How your long birthday? Was my, what happened on my birthday? Yeah. All of my friends showed up except for my best friend. How did that make you feel? Terrible. It made me reevaluate and look at the friendship differently. And in my mind, I, wasn't feeling I well. gave her another opportunity. You wasn't feeling well, but the next day you were out at a party. I wasn't oh, feeling okay. well. I wasn't at a party the next day. You was so. It's all on social I was media. Not, I was the receipts are well. on social media. It was not. I gotta ask you, do you see a future for this friendship? I don't know. I don't think that Dana sees my pain. I don't think she sees that her actions truly affect me. I and think what about she weighs it up. I, he's, me. He, he, I'm talking to the man. I think, <laughs> I think she weighs it off and chalks it up to, oh, you just acting spoiled. You are. Like I'm a whole 50 year old grown woman. I can't the thing. do everything. Everything we put on the calendar. We could plan. Okay, let's go to lunch on February 14th. Mm -hmm. February the 14th will come, and she will say, oh, I ain't gonna be able to make it. Cause something else came up, another opportunity. Me, if somebody be... call, if somebody calls me and say I want to meet with you on February 14th or 12th, oh I can't do that, but I could do three o'clock because it, I got no, 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 it's business. Hey, hold on, I want to know something. Is there? Do you feel like there's an unconscious, there's unconscious competition between you two? Not with me, because she's successful and so am I. Y'all are both fly and beautiful and successful women. I don't get where the breakdown happened. Can they rebuild their friendship? I need to hear you say, okay, I can do this friend. for you.
You gotta put a little sugar with it. That's the truth. Because y'all, both y'all. It seems like for me that you're you're not getting what you need from either of you from this relationship. I don't think that Dana sees that her actions truly affect me. Okay, so and the only reason I'm asking that is because then no. we can um, root it out because I'm trying to really figure out at the root of this. I mean, I obviously see the communication issues, but what made you all want to become friends in the first place? I have had female friends before who felt inferior to me, right? When I met Dana, I didn't get that vibe. I didn't get that inferiority syndrome. Like, we were both, like, neck and neck. Like, mm -hmm. we both were outspoken. We both said mm -hmm. we won. There was no competition there. Never. I could speak freely. I didn't have to sugarcoat my words or none of that stuff with Dana. Yeah. So that's what attracted me to her, and that's what actually sealed the deal in, in terms of me calling her a friend. So where did it break down? If you respected each other, you saw each other, there's no jealousy. Y'all are both fly and beautiful and successful women. I don't get where the breakdown happened. I think part of it is when I feel a certain way, I stand firm on what I believe, and she's the same way. And it's like with us, it's no middle. It's just lately it's been we just don't talk. So it's no compromise in this relationship. There's no compromise. Do you want to practice compromise with her? Do you want to practice mm -hmm. compromise with her? She didn't answer. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. I feel like I have compromised. So the, uh, I feel like I have bent. I, I get you. I feel I'm like a, I have given. I'm gonna tell you this. And I'm, I'm starting you this. to feel I, 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 empty. I feel I feel that. I can hear that. I can hear that. I receive that and I hear that. But the same feeling you're feeling is what she's feeling. Before you came out here, part of her whole thing was, I wanna feel this. I, I don't know if I can keep giving. So both of you are feeling empty. But I actually don't believe this is a friendship that is so unhealthy that it's like, no, you're sitting here saying, I wanted to be at your play and I want to support you. It's funny because she's not arguing about like, you messed up my play, you screwed me up. Your friend is actually begging to say, I wish I could have been there more for you. It's but interesting. What she didn't say is that when I take my stage play on the road, I see a place for her. She didn't say that. Why didn't you tell him that? Yes. If, I mean, if you can sit here and, and yell all of this negative stuff, why not tell you that she did say when we go on our national tour that she wants me on board, and I did tell her I want you to be in so my space. So you wanted her to acknowledge what you've done and the same thing right. she's saying she, she didn't, she and didn't say that. the same thing she's saying she needs you to acknowledge. Both of y'all doing the same things, and you feel like because the other person is acknowledging the way you need them to acknowledge, and now y'all getting aggravated and frustrated. Because I feel like y'all are telling each other what you need in these sort of grand ways, but both of you keep saying, I want to be acknowledged. I'm taking a little tally right here. Y'all both done said it six times. I wish we could put it up on the screen. I'm, I'm literally taking tally. This is why I take notes. I'm taking a tally. Y'all are saying the same things over and over again. So how do you fix that when two people who say, I love you and I want to be there, are both saying, I just want to be heard? Dr. Benita, I'm going to start with you. Okay. That's her attitude most of the time. But the funny part is the okay is just like, it's an acknowledgement that yes, I'll do it. That okay wasn't a yes, that okay the way was, she said that it. That okay was, like, was a so yes. What, what do I don't. You, so here, here's, a, here's a way to practice. Then what did you need in that moment? Mm -hmm. Tell her right now, say, friend, I heard you say okay, but what I need in this moment is to feel a little bit more vulnerability from it. I need to hear you say, okay, I can do this for you. I need to hear you say, okay, say I can do this friend. for you. You gotta, you gotta put a little sugar with it. That's the truth. Because y'all, <laughs> both y'all, put a little sugar with it. Put a little sugar with it. It's okay. Friend, I need you to understand me a little bit more. I guess just be willing to listen to me and my feelings sometimes. And does that mean that she can have a response? Does that mean yes. that you don't want any response? Or does no, that mean, of course she but can set have a boundary a on that. I think it would be best to respond after. Okay, so that's what you need. Mm -hmm. She did say okay. Do you still need her to say it the way you need it? Which that is, would okay. be nice. Okay, look at that already. Just can you say for her, if you feel, if you don't feel it, you don't have to, okay, friend, I can acknowledge your feelings the way you need me to. Can you say it that way for her? Okay, friend, I can acknowledge your feelings to the best of my ability. Halfway there. Dr. Bonita, I'm, that's why I keep putting the doctor out. Dr. Bonita, <laughs> listen, I know you can give it to her. I know you can say, I can, you got your ability, the best of your ability is a very high ability, okay? You don't get that doctor in front, okay? So you can actually do what she needs. 
I can do what she needs, but I also need her. I'm, go I'm coming She's to you. Don't worry. I'm, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. I'm okay. coming to you, Nick. Well, yeah. I'm coming I to you. This well, on this show, it's always I see everybody's side. I can give that to her. I can give that to you, friend. Look at that. And I feel. Do you feel that's more genuine? That was better. Okay. Good. That's it. So now, what do you need from her? I need for you to stop calling me spoiled, and I need for you to hold yourself to the same standard that I hold myself when it comes to this friendship. Well, and hold that's on. The very high. Th those are two tr tricky things. Let's go on the first one. Can you commit and say to her, first of all, I apologize, because I did hear, you have called her names, and she hasn't called your name yet. Can you acknowledge that the name calling can be hurtful? Yes. And that you're sorry. Can you tell her? I apologize for calling you spoiled. Good. And can you acknowledge that you won't do it anymore? Your best is good too, girl. <laughs> to the I, best I, of my put, ability. Okay, okay. Your best is good too, girl. <laughs> I was gonna say, please don't make okay, her a liar. No, okay, please don't make her a liar. Her. No, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. And I won't do that anymore. Amen. Thank you. I okay. won't do now that the, anymore. Now the second piece that you said is what? I want her to hold herself to the high standard that I hold myself to in okay. this friendship. So when she's not able to show up for you, what do you need her to say so you I feel as if request. she's gonna be there? Get Show it. up for my birthday, cause that's, you know that that's next year I will me. be there. Okay, that's a good step. Y'all are two amazingly beautiful and educated women. Thank that you. I know with just a little patience, y'all gonna be able to communicate. Y'all needed to be here today, kind of like to just get a little bit out. But I, I know for a fact in my heart, I would bet money on it. I bet a lot on it. She got your back. Definitely. She does. She does. And I truly believe you have her back as well. You want to give your friend a hug? Yes, yes. yes you do. I know you do. Come here, friend. <laughs> All right, thank you for being with us, friends. Come back next time so we can keep talking and growing. And remember, I love you all. Thank you so much. Y'all both two flies, and y'all are amazing. Are you